Hi everyone, well it's KK Downey here, believe it or believe it not, long time no see you here, but uh, here I am and uh, I guess doing a little bit of a guitar feature that we've been promising you now for uh, a little while, talking about some of the uh, older and maybe the new axes that uh, I've been using over the years and um, I guess uh, I hope, hopefully a lot of you around there will remember this little baby here. It's a 64 Flying V, I've had it for, I was trying to tell you how many years, but it's a lot of years. And uh, first got attracted to the Flying Vs, i say, a long time ago, and I was lucky enough to be able to pick this one up in a second-hand shop uh, in Birmingham. And uh, there was a bit of a fight over myself and Michael Schenker, because we were both looking at the same instruments around about the same, same time, but I was fortunate enough to acquire it. Much to his dis displeasure, he told me later on, when I saw him some years later in Los Angeles. Um, but anyway, here it is, and um, this was the one used on records like, for you, uh, for those of you who have uh, the Minya Collection, Sad Wings of Destiny, believe it or not, this baby goes back that far. And so do I. Um, I think it still works. We got a bit of sound there, and uh, it was the actual guitar that we recorded songs like, um, let me see, Dream of Deceiver, Victim of Changes, and, and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, believe it or believe it not, around about that time I only really had two guitars this and my old faithful White Strat. So um, let's just check it out and see if it's in tune. Okay folks, see who remembers this one. Wow. There is folks, the axe, the golden axe, it's my prize gem. It don't go anywhere, I keep it locked up safely at home where the baby belongs. Hi everybody, well here I am, as safely surrounded by some of my best friends, the axes, the golden axes, the things that do a lot of the work. Some of it's in the fingers, but these things are essential, an essential requirement of the job. Uh, as is the, the token babe, Got to have that for the inspirational purposes. You know what I mean, gents? <laughs> so, but anyway, here we've got a few of the axes. Again, another old favourite of mine. This was a uh, limited edition 1970 Flying V. You guitar buffs out there will recognise the gold deli medallion there. Neat looking. Um, this one I've had for years. Someone made this for me. It's called a Bolt guitar. And I don't know where the gentleman is that made it, but uh, it's pretty cool in today. A bit fancy and flash looking now, but it still sings. Here's an interesting one for all the guitar players out there. Maybe not your favourite shape, a bit Prince-like, but um, it's made by Hamer. Nice little tool, believe it or not. It's a three octave guitar. One two, and believe it or not, you've got your third octave there, and there is another 12 frets in there, I can guarantee you. So for those guys with small fingers, check it out. And, uh, yeah, it's real three octaves. So if you guys have got an amp that goes up to 11, like most of us have, and you want to check out the extra octave with it, it's cool. 
Here we have on my lap uh, a nice little uh, present from ESP Guitars. It's actually uh, the Kerry King model, but uh, I'm waiting for my new instruments from ESP. Been waiting for a while. Hope, they got, hope those guys are checking in uh, today. And, um, and uh, let's hope they're in the post, and I'll be checking them out real soon. Okay, you guys, this is a nice little beauty. I believe uh, Kirk Hammett plays one of these. This is an ESP guitar. Those guys uh, very kindly um, let me check it out and eventually keep it, which is cool. Uh, for anyone that saw us on the Jugulator tour, they probably remember us uh, playing uh, Diamonds and Rust. A new cool version with, uh, with these instruments and they sound really, really cool for, for those guys uh, that are looking to buy something a little bit different. Well worth checking out by ESP. This is not an ad. Okay, you guys, this is, this is just to show you that uh, us metal mongers do have a little bit of a soft side. Believe it or not, the old Nolan string job. How's about that? We've got a soft side. Um, nice instrument, don't get to play it too much these days, not a big call for it in metal, but who knows, somebody might do something different one day, and it might be me. A couple of ESGs, EMGs, pickups on there, what do you think folks? Could be a vibe. Okay you guys, we are having fun yet? A lot of you might remember this one, uh, I've been playing this baby since sort of the turbo, turbo era. Um, Hamer guitar, scallop frets, sounds good, that's why I've kept it on board for so long and um, but say hopefully I guess I'll be putting this baby to bed because it's become, I've become a bit attached to it and things can go missing, things can get broke on the road and you know stolen all sorts of weird things so sometimes when you get a little bit attached to something you know you just don't want to lose it and um, check out why. Albums. Here we go. You think it's a tall one? Long tall dude, but it ain't. Yours truly. <laughs> 